Huh? I think I just started the camera. <laughs> okay, morning guys. Oh, I don't know where my little sign is. Ah, oh, one of these days we're gonna finish my um firefly. Good morning, it's Patty. Look, I did my wings. Look, here's the wings to my firefly. And I grew out a body, and now I've lost my body. I know, you're not shocked, are you? Look, here's my firefly wings, so now I, I need my body. I had, I, I lost it. I lost it. Yep. Okay, so you'd have thought I'd put it in the drawer, but I did not, as it turns out. So, good morning, all. Whew. Happy, what are we on? Sunday? Are we on Sunday? Is it Sunday? You know, every day is a blur's day to me. Oh, I had so many plans, guys. But, do you guys remember I was trying to do collage pages, and then I tried to do the squares or rectangles like Gail does and Barbara at 49 Dragonflies and Carrie. They all do these beautiful squares, and I almost made it here. Look, this one I did off camera, and it took me like two hours of concentration. It's ridiculous. But while I was doing, I failed. See, I failed. I almost made it. Failed. Failed several times. And uh, so I keep failing. I keep trying squares. And I keep not quite making it. So then I had an idea. I wondered if... Um, I wondered if we could do circles. So I thought we would do just really fast circles. Because I have just so much paper. This is just a little bitty bit. And I have like bins. Bins and bins and bins. And bins. And that was my plan today. Like I did this one and then I thought let's cut that baby up into circles and stick it on here. Because, you know, I did it without you because obviously I thought the camera was on and it wasn't. So let's just cut some circles out. Let's cut some circles out, guys. See if they'll cut out, and let's see what happens if we put circle collages on a paper. And I don't even know if I brought my ink pad over here, but I thought let's ink them and see what it turns into. I don't think I can get all of him, but that would be cool. Is every single one gonna stick? Oh, can I pull this thing off? There we go. That'll make it a lot easier because that that'll stop us in our tracks. I wanted to do this. I wanted to do the 50 stack challenge. I wanted to finish my um, last piece for my ATC partner. The problem I'm having with that is deciding exactly what I'm going to do because there's so many thoughts in my head. Which way do I want to go? But I need to get it done because, you know, there's rules. There's rules of, when you know, timelines. Not rules. I don't deal so well with the rules. We know. But timelines... So I just thought, you know, come on out of there. It is well and truly stuck. Seriously? How can it be that? There we go. Oh, maybe the trick is just hold it down when you want it to come out. Okay. All right. Well, sweet. And you notice I'm trying to keep most of the circles intact on the page. Yeah, I know, because I like to use the pages again. Because it, it makes for cool stuff. Oh, this piece is buggering me up right there. So how's everybody's day? As I started the video, a text came through from my sister that didn't look good. So I have some family stuff. Uh-oh, missed that one. See, got it on the edge. That's okay. So there's some circles. And then I just thought, well, what if we move down to the next punch size? Because I figured, well, even if we don't save all the circles, that's fine. Yeah, we're not going to. Oh, no, wait. I have to cut it off first. Um, well, you'd think I'd have scissors on this desk. We all know I do. Somewhere. There's a pair. You know. Um, well, here, let's cut a piece here. Oh, that's going to be a good piece. That's a piece of jelly print on a um, dictionary page. Yeah, I know. Why am I being so precious? I know. Because it'll look cool on something. That's why. All these ones are intact, so I'm kind of trying to keep them that way. 
because then I'll lay them over a, another page of something. You know, I don't know. They'll come into play somewhere. You know they will. Oh, numbers. We're going to get numbers, guys. Look at that. And yep, I could have did this without you, but, you know, it's part of the fun. See, I can't quite get in that one to, but we can just cut it because that one didn't make it anyway. Do, do, do. There. Get us a few more circles. I love this print so much. I don't remember how I did it, so... There won't be any replicating that because I don't know what I did in the first place. Well, this one page might actually fill the whole thing. I don't know. I don't know because I haven't tried this before. Okay, that's good enough for now. Let's just start. Um, I need ink. Ink, ink. And I know it's over here. One sec. Because, oh my gosh, Patty put something away. I know it. I'm going to try to go with the... The color that's kind of like vintage photo. I do own vintage photo. I should see how close they really are together, shouldn't I? That's what I should do. Let's test that out and see. Let's see how close these colors actually are. Because I keep saying they're close because it seems to me like they're close, but I don't know if they're close. Which one's vintage photo? This back one. That one there. Um, so let's see. Let's do, I'm going to do it on the white half. Mm -mm 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 -mm. See, vintage photos looks a little bit dirty to me. It just, yep, that's vintage photo. Just, does everybody's vintage photo look dirty? Like, where are you? See, I adjusted the camera again. I don't know. I don't know. Just seems a little. So then this is cinnamon cider. Maybe this is more tea-like. See, it's a little bit, I don't know, just a little bit. It's got a redder tone, I guess, to it, which I thought Vintage Photo was supposed to have a red tone, but mine doesn't. I don't know. I don't know. I like it better. But then when you put them together, it's kind of cool. Look at that. When you put them together, it's very cool, actually. Oh, no, I'm not going to be sitting here double inking. No, no, we're not going to do that. So, which, which way? Okay. So, we'll do some and some, and I really just like the walnut stain, so I guess it doesn't really matter that much. I just thought, um, you know, let's go around the edges. Oh, look, I cut him. I didn't make it at all. That's okay. You can't tell what it was supposed to be anyway. Um, mm, 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 mm. I think this is just out of, um, I don't know what kind of magazine that's out of actually, because I got a lot of magazines going on right now. That's something we're going to be definitely decluttering, you guys, is some magazines, because, like, I have a bunch of them, and I'm using them for the Marguerite Miller, but also for glue pages, and then I was just at the neurologist for the migraines, and then I picked up more there. Okay, I just dipped into the walnut stain, and yes, I cross-pollinated. I sure did. See, and that's definitely a deeper tone, which will be nice, because who wants to be all one-toned? I don't want to. I know, it looks nice, and that's why my stuff goes crazy, because I keep changing things up. Yep, yep, that's what happens. But I get bored easily. Back into the cider. I do like this cider color. Which is good because it is a, what are you, Stampin' Up! pad. So I'll have it for the rest of my life because I don't think they ever run dry. Because, <laughs> you know, I bought some, um, this one's actually new, but I bought a whole bunch at a um, used place thinking, oh, I'll get them and then I'll buy some reinkers of, because um, the pads are always so nice. And I'll just buy the reinkers, or I'll buy the um, Tim Holtz colors that I want that are close, because like I really want some amber colors, right? Which is strange, because I've never been into yellow until just recently. Not yellow, yellow, but the ambery colors. But uh, no, no, those babies are like old, old, old ones, and they are. There's nothing wrong with them. They're going strong. I'm like, um, well, 
I guess I won't be buying a reinker for that anytime soon. And then I put my black archival ink on some other ink pad. I thought, oh, that'll be fine. I'll just use the ink pad, right? Because the ink pad was dried up. It was another used one. No, that sucker wouldn't even take the archival ink. So now I need to buy, because I feel like I bought a big archival pad of black archival, and it's not, it's not great. So I don't want to put any more on that pad because it came not. See, I can't see anything on this one, so we're going to go with a deeper color. We're going to go back to the um, walnut. Walnut. See, I do like this little four thing. And I have that same size pad in, um, you know, this one. But I have one that's just a archival black this size. Because I thought that would be brilliant, right? No, it's really not if you travel. I mean, it is brilliant, but not if you travel. But see how my little pads are already coming loose? Okay, well, obviously, it's well-loved. So I shouldn't say already coming loose. Oh, that one's done. Where are the rest of them? Is that really all I punched out, guys? Like, that's all I did? All right. Well, okie dokie then. Okie dokie, artichokey. That's okay because I figured I could do... Um, I just wanted to see how this works out, really, you know, that was all. I just wanted to see, I thought I did more of these though. I swear I did more than four. All right, sit there, see if I can keep track of you long enough for this to matter. Ah. Oh, these little glue sticks. I don't know if they're going to hold long term, but, uh, their little lids are tight as can be. Okay, go there. Fine. I don't even know. Um, <laughs> yeah, I didn't think about this before I started. You know that, right? I mean, I didn't think about the execution of it all and how they would actually go on a page. I just thought, I wonder how circles would work. I never see anybody work in circles to do this. So why don't we ever make a master board of circles? I don't know. Somebody maybe has. But the people I watch do master boards, I have not seen do circles yet. So I thought I would master board a circle. And then, you know, because I watch Gail do master boards. Gail, that's Gail Augustinelli. I'm sure you guys know. And I watch Carrie, the crafter, and they make beautiful master boards. And then I try to replicate it. And I do not. I do not. Because I cannot seem to manage to just stick with the squares and rectangle thing or keep things calm or something. I'm not sure what my issue is. Oh yeah, I need a lot more circles, don't I? I didn't even get close to enough circles, did I? Ooh, okay. Yeah, you're going to be punching more circles, Patty. Well, that is okay. That is a-okay. So, a few more big ones. Obviously, need to come in here. And then our little ones, I think. So let's grab that second page. Not that one. Where's that other page that we right here, did yesterday? And where did I put the big circle punch? <laughs> oh, here's another big circle. See, I missed a couple. Oh, look at that. Hang on a minute. Oh, Patty, you're kind of a menace. Yeah, we know, we know. <laughs> I know, I live with myself every day. I don't know what a menace I am. I do love this paper. I don't know who it's from, guys. I would guess Artie Mays, but then I always guess Artie Mays, or there's like four, I guess. And I will never know if I'm right. One, once I've cut them up, you know. You know, I don't know. Just, Just putting it out there. That's the problem with it. I always want to give them credit, and I don't always know exactly who it is, so I can't always give it cre give credit because sometimes I don't remember. See, there's another little circle. Okay, lift up your paper and see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Okay. Okay. Let's do the little ones because I think that's probably should have shifted this one. Oh, I can. Look. I probably should have shifted them a little bit apart. 
and made room for the littler ones. Well, I did now. Okay. This one's not inked. You're going on last because you're not inked. And then I can do even littler ones. Oh, that one's the one not inked one. <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, obviously, it's not going to cover the entire back page, and that's okay. I mean, I knew that. That's why we picked a page that has writing on it. So if I'd have picked an antique page to do this on, I think that would have been, like, super, super cool. But, like, we can always um, antique this page up if that's what we go with, which since I use the brown tones kind of is, but it's just as easy to wait and see what you're using it in. So, oops, let's see. The only thing I don't like about these, I mean, I love how long they last, but I do not like trying to open and close them, which is probably user error, to be fair, but they make my hands hurt. The Stampin' Up! little pad thingamajigs, they're hard to open for me. I'm going to stick this one right here. And I feel like we need way more of that size, but first, before we do that, because we still have some room on this page, over there get back in the bin and go down another size. Oh, don't kill everything, Patty. Okay, that little spot right there is in my way. I probably should not have tried to preserve any of the um, outer circles, so we might have to go back and get some pieces off from them. Shoot. Okay. Let me let me in. Let me in. Let's see this little piece here. This is gonna make a cool circle, right? Well, it may have fallen apart. I don't know. Felt like it fell apart, guys. Hmm. <laughs> Do, 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 do. See, why, why? Okay, still dipping, that's why. I need to get in a little dip of the last one. And possibly my paper's not altogether great. Seriously? Okay, well, that's what's gonna happen here. So, I just think this could be, I don't know, cool. A cool concept. I guess we'll see in the end. Because, I mean, I don't know if we will today, but you could just keep going down, circle, 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 depending on the size of your punches. And I have several all the way down, but some of them hurt my hands, and I don't... Okay, you get over there. We're probably not going to manage to play with you today. Um... It's like, how far down can you get your circles, right? Is the question. So, let's see what those circles do. Get over there. Look, at everything's falling on me. Avalanche! See, that's, that's why other people clean their desk off. I know. All right, so these ones, I feel like... Come here. Where are they all? <laughs> No, I lost the little, there we go. Okay. All right, we're in business. This one's kind of chopped up. We're going to set that one aside for a second. You definitely do not belong here. Oh, what is everybody else doing? It's Sunday. My husband's sick, so we're not doing a whole lot because I don't know, but it is the season and I just don't want to make other people sick by being around them with his sick. You know, he came home from work sick and I feel like we should have put another big one right there. So let's, 
Let's pivot and let's make us a big one, guys. Where's the other page? Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, he doesn't have the big C or anything, I'm pretty sure. But people are fragile. You know, this is Tucson. People come here for the winter. And, and it's cold out, which sucks. So, you know, I don't know. I just figured I'm kind of stay home and low-key. Which is normal for my family. We don't go out anyway. It's not like anybody's surprised that we're staying home. I feel like I just want more bigger circles before the littles. I know I put you down, but come here. Did I, did I put this one down too? So, I'm getting an idea of what I think of this glue. Okay, that one stayed down. That one just hadn't dried yet. I feel like I want some more big. So let's do that for a sec. I think I might like them intertwined and then I think I might want to shift colors for the outline of the little littles. And then, oh, you guys, I don't like, do you remember we, um, I'm going to frame the, the tree, the tree, the tree, the tree. I don't like how it came out. So we adjusted it and I put it on a, a frame thing. Uh oh, that one didn't that one didn't go very well. Come on, there we go. I don't know why that one didn't go well, but it did not. This one doesn't feel like it's going well either. Okay. There we go. Alright. And then we'll probably wind up doing some more mediums. This is taking way longer. Maybe we should skip. We'll see. That that didn't come out good, did it? Hang on. I can't talk and do a circle too. So let's grab. Let's grab. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, well, let's just try that that color or this color. It's just we have colors in front of us. I don't have to go across the room for it. They're right here. I was going to go for blue, but you know, this is here, so let's do this. Okay, what is, apparently this is supposed to be black. But see what I mean? Like, they're, the, is the Tim Holtz black just always dry? Like, I don't know. I've only owned two, and both of them are just dry as get out. Which, to me, makes it kind of hard to use and not that fun. Although it looks good. I'm not going to lie. It looks good. Not this one because it's dry. Do, do, do. I have a different black that's just so much more pleasant to use. Is it on the desk still? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because I was using it like two days ago. Three days. I don't know. <laughs> Hang on. I have lots of different so I'm not enjoying that so I'm not I'm just not gonna do it let's try the other let's try the let's try this black because I started with the black and now I'm like oh well maybe the black would pop it so I grabbed my coffee and still didn't take a drink how do you like that I want to just spend the whole time inking but I do love the ink effect so there's that guys it's just, it is what it is. It looks so much better if we take a little bit of moment. I wish I could ink as fast as Amy at Crafty Cats, man. She flies. I've never seen somebody ink so fast. She's just like, do-do-do-do-do, and it's done. And these are circle. You'd think they just spin around in my hand, but I'm probably holding too tight. Do-do-do-do-do-do. Okay, I think I'm getting warm. I can turn off the heater now. Oh, that didn't sound good. Hmm. Do, 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 do. So anyway, oh, right. What was I telling you about? I was telling you about the tree, the tree. I'll show you as soon as I'm done inking. I don't like it and I'm going to redo it. 
That's, that's what I'm trying to tell you. So those of you that watch my videos, you know, on the regular or semi-regular, I'm wondering, do you guys want to watch me redo it? I have a plan. I think I have a plan to do it like, bam, right? Because I don't, I don't like how it came out. When I put it, I thought I did, but then when you put it in the frame, let me show you. It's just pants, man. It's not good. Look, look how bad it looks once it's framed. Like that, it's terrible. And I have it scooted over where it should be. Look, if I put it actual, look at that. Not good at all. So, gonna take it off this board that we painted and do it again. So, if you guys want to come along for the journey, just let me know. Because I'm going to do it. Because I love it so much. But, not on that. It's That just feels wrong. Oh, that one's empty. Where's the one I was just using? Here it is. So, yeah, that feels, it feels wrong to just take something so that was so pretty and then ruin it like that. So I would rather um, just put a hard backer on it and leave it plain if need be rather than do it that way with no frame on it. I just think the frame would make it look nice, but I'm not going that way because, I mean, it can live without a frame. I guess I could go off the pages, can't I? Why can't I go off the page? It's mine. I can do what I want to do. Yeah, okay. I just cut this one in half. Well, why didn't I just cut one of those in half, huh? Well, I'll give it a minute to dry. Did I make more than I needed? Probably. Oh, wait, do it on here, Patty. We'll move that one up there. Wait a minute. Oh, well, come off. Go ahead. I dare you. Move that one there. And then there. That one I was just going to cut in half, I could put there and up there. Although now it could have went there, but that's okay. We're going to continue on with where we were. I really hope you guys can see me. I should probably turn the book this way, then you can absolutely see. Huh? I think it's going to be a cool page when it's done. I don't know. I kind of like it, but I like circles. So, you know, I like circles. We don't use circles a lot. I mean, people make circles in their digitals, but then I feel like everybody struggles to use the circles. But while I was struggling to use the, um, the, uh, the squares and the rectangles to stay square and rectangle. It's not that I don't get the concept of a square and rectangle. For sure, I do. It's, it's, it's continuing to use them like you're supposed to. It shouldn't even be hard. I don't know what's going on in my brain that it keeps not, you know? Like, it's not that hard to cut a square and then put it down on the page. It genuinely is not hard. Unless you're Patty, apparently. I don't know if I like it once I'm cutting it like that, though. It feels less organic. You know? I don't know. Because, like, see? If I'm doing it that way, instead of cutting it, then I choose a different space to put it in. Do you understand? Like, when I cut it, I just automatically cut them perfectly center, and that wasn't... I wouldn't do that. I don't do perfectly centered hardly anything. I do think it needs to go that way some, though. There. Okay. So now let's go back to these little bobbies. Uh, well, I'm going on this side. I don't know which side it was on to begin with, but now I want it on that side. Do we have any more of those? These center size. All right. Nope. So I guess we're going down to this side now. Is that what we're doing? And these are not inked, right? Okay. Where did the little inky thing go? Right here. I think we need more of this size too, but we'll see. We'll just go back and forth with them till we feel like we're done. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I'm a little quieter today, I know, because I took migraine meds yesterday, again. <sighs> there, I have a new shot that I'm supposed to take, but I'm not clear since I just had my Botox a few days ago, which means, I know, I'm not done with the run of headaches, but I hate it because they're three days in a row usually, but the last few times it's been four, so I'm hoping this is not one of those times. Really, really hoping, guys, because I don't want to do it. Just so over it. Um, I'm not clear when I'm supposed to take the injection. I think I, I, I know I want more of those. So where's the paper? Paper, paper. Here it is. And uh, look at that. I actually put this away. I just, I'm just saying. Just putting it out there that I actually put it away. That was really loud, wasn't it? Or is that just me? Sorry. That one was thick. So, that's going to happen more than once. Can we make it? Oh, just barely. I think we made it in the center. And I'm sure you're probably noticing that I'm getting less worried about preserving circles because I want these ones to do what we're doing now. And those ones are in my way. It's weird, once I cut with this serrated piece, then I need to snip it so I can get to the next piece, though. I did notice that. But it's the only punch I have this size, so, you know. When it comes to that, we just are kind of... Oh, that piece was thick. Uh-oh, didn't cut, and it jammed. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, come here. Um, come here, come here. If I pull it against it, will it, like, cut it? Oh, bugger. Ugh. Let go? Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's a piece of fabric. Ah, it's a piece of fabric, guys. I stuck a piece of fabric in the center of that one. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> All right. So, all right, so cutting the circles is not as quick or as easy, I will say, as cutting the um, squares and rectangles, obviously. All right, let's see. Let's start with that, because I'm, you know, I'm me. That's all there is to it. I am me. Do, 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 do. Oh, see, I like this with the black on it, too. Where'd my other color go? Right here. Because I'm just thinking if I, what if I do both colors? You know, half and half. See, now I'm thinking that side doesn't stand out nearly as well. All right, well, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Can I do that? Oh, looky there piece needs glued. Oh, that's the piece of fabric. That's the piece of fabric, y'all. So that black, that archival black, is working okay, but I put another archival on top of it because, well, like I said, the littler pad that I tried to use for archival was dead, and I was like, I bought some archival inks, and I don't know, they were on sale, and none of them were black or brown. I don't know what I was doing. Um. Well, it said, Tim Holtz sale product on Amazon. That's what that's what I was doing. That's what happened. Oh, this is just a plain brown one. That's cool. Do 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 do. Hurry up so we can do this. Do do. Because I want to do another step. Of course I do. But this step is taking forever. But see, you know what? The last master board did too. Maybe I just enjoy the process, Patty. Slow down, enjoy your process. That's what we're supposed to be doing, right? Okay, we have to make some ephemera this week, you guys. I don't know why. I love making ephemera, but then I think maybe you guys don't want to watch it. So I keep putting it off. Is that all I made? Just this little, okay, close that and work with this. Close that. Or it will dry up. There's one way to dry up your ink, huh? 
but that's not that's not what I'm about. That doesn't seem like a good plan to me. No, nope, sure doesn't. Mm, I think I'd like this one over here. I like this page. I like it a lot, actually. I like this over here. And then let's put one of these red ones over here. Let's put this brown one. Oops, I might have glued the wrong side. That's okay, this side has black too. Right there. And then let's put <laughs> this one. This this one here. Look, don't get too precious with it, Patty. They're just circles. They're just circles. Just put them down. Oh, the number three. That's one of my numbers, you guys. Oh, they stuck together. Apparently they want to be together. Let's put my three there. Put that there. Stick. This little one here, we will stick. I know, you would have thought, oh, maybe it'll be a calm background. No, no, it won't. We need something off this side over here. So let's put this here. And then that doesn't belong on our page at all. Whoops. <laughs> let's put this over here. Okay. Do I have any more? These ones are down. That doesn't belong on the page. Everything is down. Is everything stuck? I just have these two in my hand, right? And then mm, this over here definitely needs some love, doesn't it? That's the piece with the fabric on it. And then we'll stick this one here. What do you guys think of that so far? <laughs> so the reason I said we'd save this is I figured we could get a smaller one out of it. Can we get two? Look at that. We can. Ah, two of them. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Oh, I hope nobody else gets sick in my family. And hi, Darcy. I hope you guys are doing good over there. Her family had a heck of a week. I need, I need to do that side. See, I should have spun it. Because that's normally... Well, when I was doing... Uh, when I paint, I paint on a spin tray if I'm painting downward. If I'm not up on it... Oops, sorry. Up on an easel. I um, That way, I can see from different perspectives. Where did it go? There was another one. Did it just like attach itself? That's interesting. Well, this one's gonna go over here now. Even though I know those were together originally. Okay, but you've seen me. Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, you've seen me uh, take two uh, off the thing. Okay, and then we have, where's our little papers? <sighs> no, not that one, wrong one. Let's get her. I mean, we could do that one, but I was thinking this one next. How are we doing? Okay. Let's go to this one first. Let's get us some of this paper off this one. Get some of this yummy red stuff in here. I really like that, that pattern. Come off. I know these ones just went flying everywhere because they're so tiny. Get us some of this blue right here. See, this was a blue when my um, printer was acting up. Okay, well, it's acting up again. But, I mean, I printed with it acting up. And so it has these, that blue with those lines in it. Where is the camera at the moment? What the heck? Okay. Because I moved my camera, I can't find you. There you are. See it? So, but actually, I don't mind it that much. I am minding that I can't get into that hole, though. That's irritating me. There. 
Come on. And a little bit of music paper. Oh, it's got the it's got the wonky edge. So let me just. Yeah, see what I just did? I just made sure those ones stayed together. Ha! Huh. I know. It's a habit. All right, so now we can get some book page here. There we go. And then we can get some music paper here on this edge. Can we get another music note? Oh my goodness, my fingers are getting caught. Okay, let's start with that. Let's see where we go. Come here, little babies. Where'd they all go? Come here, little thing. Oh my goodness, come here. I am not inking these, just so you guys know. No, 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 I'm not doing it. Well, shoot, come here. We're just gonna kinda pop them on the glue and pop them in some spots. Like little pop dots. Yep, sometimes they're gonna be in good spots. Sometimes they're just going to be in random spots. Do, 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 do. Makes my hubby crazy that I'm like, he's like, it's just copy paper, throw it away when things go wrong. And I'm like, ah, oh, we can probably use it. But seriously, I'm overflowing with papers. So we got to find a way to corral the papers or get rid of the papers. I don't know. I may have went a little overboard with my circles, you guys, but I really, really kind of like it. I'm not going to lie. It's almost dimensional enough that I could pull it on the gel plate. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I wonder if I could get an impression with them if they were dry, you know, which they're not, but if they were. Okay. So, what do you think? too bad right oh well we gotta we gotta trim it hang on I just almost cut the whole page oh look I missed a piece well can't have that and then we'll see if we want to add any of these half pieces back in or not look I'm cutting the page again dang it Patty well, you know, that's my version of precision. I like it. But, of course, it is not calm. It is chaotic. But my thought is, okay, so now you see them. What if... I don't know. Yeah, because I think it needs something right there. Whoops. You get out of the way. I do think it needs a bit of a fill in there. And then I think this one could go, it was supposed to be the other way, but that's okay. Right there, okay? So, and then we're done. Ta-da, no, of course we're not. So I can see like that one's not all the way down. Needs something right there. Yes, it does. It needs something right there, guys. Come here, you. Go up there. Oh, wait. There's another one. Good. Mm -mm. Okay, well, I'm going to leave that one there now because it's there. And we'll stick this one here where I just lifted that one. Probably would have been better the other way around, but that is okay. So then, what if we, what if, now that we did that and I'm staring at it, I'm just wondering what would happen if we went around every one of them with black. That was not my plan, you guys. Was not my plan in any way. Sorry about my arm. But but now that I'm looking at it, what would happen if we went around every one of them? So this is a uh, Liquitex black gesso and I should probably shake it to be fair. <sighs> that was not my plan. The plan was just to pop them on here and like be like, oh, whatever. You know, 
as I do. And I need a more precision brush than this, let me just tell you right now. Or this is going to look pants. Let me get an angle brush. Let me grab an angle brush, guys. Or a small brush, even. And a brush of 5,000. Do you think I can find an angle if I want it? I mean, I kind of go over there in the professional brushes, probably. But in the, in the drawer of free for all brushes, um, can I find an angle? No, but here's a, here's a, actually, I really like this brush. Here's a round brush, so we can do a round. I, I prefer angle brushes for almost everything. And they're sitting over on the other desk because when I paint paint, um, I'm usually over there at the other desk. This desk is still relatively new. And yes, I know, I should probably have something underneath this so one page doesn't stick to the next. This is why I like angle brushes right here, guys. Because I can get the edging of everything. I can't even see the edging right now, to be fair. So getting it is gonna be tricky. I got my brush a little bit wet so that the paint would flow. Cause I don't wanna be here all day with this. It was just a thought, but now that I'm doing it, I think it might've been a good thought. What do you guys think? Do, 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 do. Oh, I didn't take into account the little frillies on the side of these. I might not enjoy that so much. Round, around, around. <laughs> titch, titch, titch. There. Yeah, I thought we were going to have plenty of time. I was like, well, I can do this and then I can go on and do the other half of my 50 stack challenge. Instead, I'm just going to be behind, which is fine. The dog one was really throwing me, you guys. I mean, and then I found this little dog and then I was trying to organize papers. And every time I do that, my desk turns, you know, I get the desk clean, halfway clean, halfway. I'm just trying to be honest. And then I start sorting through another pile of something and then it's not clean anymore. Cause of course I sort it on the desk. And then, you know, I lost, I lost the dog. I lost it. Lost the dog. So then I was like, why am I so buggered about a dog? The dog, you don't even have to do them. Like she's like, if, Amy at Crafty Cats is like, if, if it's one week doesn't work for you, don't do it. But I like challenges. That's the whole point. They make you grow. And uh, this one, I mean, hers are to grow your ephemera stash. And I'm not trying to grow mine. I'm trying to use mine and hopefully eventually sell the artwork that they go with. I'm gonna take my angel wings down and uh, tear it all apart and reuse it because um, the church, it wasn't what the church was looking for, they asked for it. Um, no, they asked for a piece of my artwork, unspecified, but then it wasn't exactly what they wanted. So um, it's been hanging in my dining room and I didn't really know where to put it up for sale. You know, because I don't know where to sell things. So, uh, I'm going to probably take it apart. Because it's been there for, you know, six months or so now. So now I'm probably going to take it apart and reuse all the pieces for something else. You know, recycle, upcycle. Yep, killed that one. I have too much paint on my brush at this point. Where's a big open spot here? Because that's way too much paint right in there. Just starting to make that not look great. <laughs> yeah. Should have talk, took into account how detailed this was going to be before I decided to put black around it. <laughs> oh, Lordy. That's funny. It's like, um, it's almost like neurographic art. You know how you do it in? You doodle it. I should have used a paint pen. Oh, my gosh. Why am I not using a paint pen, you guys? Ah. Ah. Hold on. For heaven's sakes. It's not like I don't own them. Oh, one's probably right there on the desk with us, actually. Where are my black paint pens? Oh, my goodness. I mean, now they're not going to match, probably, because that is just so. But let me try Let me try a paint pen. 
heaven's sakes, Patty. You know, here I'm like trying to get around everything. Okay, these ones are not my favorite paint, pen, pen, paint pens because the um, it's just spongy on the top. It's not good for edging, but that's okay. It's okay, because this is going to get ripped up anyway. Whoops. See? Not great for edging. But if I can get around the edges, I can go back to the other stuff. These edges are not even all the way down tight. But that's okay, because, you know, it'll get sewn on, or if I'm in the mood to sew, you know, I have to be in the mood or whatever when I use it. Which I thought we might use a piece of it, but no, it takes me forever to do things because I always go overboard. Like, this wasn't necessary, was it? No, no it wasn't. I just wanted to see how it would look because I got thinking too much. See how spongy that piece is right there on this one? And the other one is in my holder somewhere, I think. See, that piece is barely down, so that'll be easy to go around. But, I have to admit, it's faster. Have to admit, it's faster. It's not as great, but it's faster. Well, maybe it's faster. Let's see if I can get in that little piece right there. If you can't get in the edging, maybe it's not as good, huh? As that's its purpose, is to edge. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I like neurographic art. I quit doing it for a while because I like to doodle. But sometimes I get, even off camera, I get paralyzed with what do you doodle, you know? And, like, I overthink it, which is exactly the opposite of what you're supposed to be doing with neurographic art. Like, you're supposed to... That's the whole purpose of it, is to not do, it's a form of therapy, actually. I was watching the therapist about it one day, and, like, you're supposed to do the opposite of what your instinct says or something like that when you first start. You know, when you first start to draw the, the lines. You're supposed to, like, kind of almost meditate on it and see what your instinct says to do. Like, if your instinct says to go right, go left instead. So I try to do that. I try to focus and... And then I think there's another form where you just don't focus at all and you just... You focus on something different. And I try to do that sometimes when I'm um, listening to my Bible app. Not always because I listen to it a lot driving, but I try if I'm home to do those kind of things, which I'm not brilliant at because I consider that like, it's almost a form of art journaling, which, because I don't journal journal anymore. I showed you guys some of my journals the other day. If you were here for that, I showed people my journals, a couple of them, my older ones. Okay, so I just need to go paint that in with the paint around those where I just edged it. So that's cool. That was a lot faster. Whoops, I just slung paint right down my arm. Hand. My hand. There. Whoops, and I still managed to go over. Oh, I missed one right here. Well, it was almost faster. See, if this was an angle brush, I wouldn't be hitting any of those edges right now. Because, you know, angle. That's why it's an angle brush. I think there's like a, a dagger brush in a, in watercolor, but I don't know if there's one for like acrylics. Not that I wouldn't use it anyway, because I would. We already know I would have missed this spot too. I like it with the black outline. What about you guys? You like it with the black? Or did you like it better white? I like it black. Which is interesting, because that just means next time, just start on a black background. 
I think I would like it on like old book page too. Like if we would have just toned it like with tea or something, if we had a tea dyed it or coffee dyed it, that would have been cool too. But that would have got it wet too. There, done, Dunsies. What do you think? I think it's pretty cool. Oh, no, we're not done. Shoot. Oh, let me just use this to scumble that in. Can I lift this piece up? So now I know that glue is not brilliant. But that's okay, because I'll just use that glue on stuff that's staying home forever. So that is definitely never going to be a replacement for Scotch Create, which is what I use normally, but they took it away or something. And I haven't figured out what they did in its place. Because by the time I realized what was going on, it was already off the market, but I'm going to have to try ooh with everybody else. There. Did it. Stick down. Just stick to the... Stick to your ticket. Oh, man. I've done it a couple times now. It must be a Harry Potter time. But my mom is not here. And my auntie isn't here. So my Harry Potter people are not here with me. There. Okay. What do you guys think? Well, that took our whole hour. Look at that. So I guess now we know what it looks like if Patty makes a... Um, you know, I have smaller dots we could put on here, too. Like, 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 like. I'm not saying we have to. I'm just saying we could, if I can find them. The insides to the um, paper holders. I didn't want to be done playing yet. Dang it. So, I guess I'll probably be playing a little bit without you guys today, which is odd, but there it is. Look, this would make a really cool... Page. Oh, I got to definitely glue these down with better glue. Did you see that? Oh, 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 okay. Well, I'll let this part dry, and then I'll just go over the whole thing with matte medium to glue it all safe and sound. Or else I'll go back with, like, um, Barely Arts glue or something. All right, so I'm going to let you guys go, and I will see you uh, Monday. I don't know what we're going to do. Um, it's supposed to be messy Monday, but... I want to work on color combo, really. I'm dying to do the color combo. So, we might do that instead. Oh, look, here's another one. I missed one. Well, we're going to place it. Where are we going to place it? Right there? Is that a good spot? Mm, do we want it there? Do we want it here? Not there. That's too close to the others. See that one? I think I went over one with all black. I sure did. That's what happened there. Yeah, okay. Well. We'll fix that by putting this one on top. And then, you know, when I figure out where I sat them, because I showed them to you the other day, we might go back over it again with even smaller dots. What is that? Oh, that goes to that. I was going to say, what is a straight piece doing? But it's not. Okay. I like it. That was kind of fun. And then um, maybe this week we'll, we'll use it in some of our stuff. All right. I will talk to you guys later. All right. Love yous. Bye. Thanks for hanging with me. Love you. Bye. Oh, and let me know if you guys want to see me um, update the tree because I'm going to, I'm for sure going to add more um, limbs and leaves for sure because I want to fill it into the background when I do it. And um, so, yeah, it'll be a full update on it. All right. So let me know. All right. Love you. Bye. Well, 